Hi guys. In this lesson, we will talk about the full state feedback controller design. Okay? Feedback controller design. Okay? And so, in the previous lesson, we discussed about uh, how can we obtain the one wheel model equation of motion. And so, we have the form of the what the i x and c x notation in here and so we can derive the what the total form of these equations okay and so this form gives us the i x x dot dot plus x dot c x gives the total notation and then what we can uh, firstly uh, organize the this equation in the state space form in our system should be written by the what the z dot is equal to the a z plus b torque value okay torque is the input value z is the state value and so the a and b the much softer what the state and the input matrices respectively okay and so if we utilize the this equation form like this one the i x x dot dot c x and so we can write this equation like this one torque i x x dot dot plus c x x dot and so we can turn to these equations to what the a is equal to the what is equal to the zero one zero minus c x i x <coughs> in the state space form and so b is equal to the what zero one divided by i x okay and so how can we obtain this form of equations and so in order to create the ss form we should utilize to what z1 is equal to the x z2 is equal to the x dot z1 is equal to the z2 coming from these things and so z2 dot is equal to the what these terms is organized with the what the left along this x dot dot term at the left hand side and so we have minus c x divided by i x times x dot or z2 plus 1 divided by i x times torque value okay <coughs> this forms gives us this equation form okay <coughs> and so what is the full state feedback Free state feedback control is that if we measure the all the states position velocity acceleration or something like that and so then we can define the total input response or the torque value like this one minus k times z and so k is a matrix in here especially in this system the k1 and k2 and so z is equal to the what z1 and z2 this creates to one times mime <coughs> one matrices or the scalar value of these things and so we can produce the controller signal by using these terms with the specific proportional coefficients which is represented by the k1 and k2 and times z1 and z2 and states and so full state feedback okay and so <coughs> what's the advantage of this algorithm <coughs> in the PID controllers one signal or measurement is used to control the system but in the FSB the many signal used for the control approach and so if the if we are using the PID controller we cannot reach the other states of the variable like that for example if we have controlled the velocity value of 
the this system and so we can use the every error term by using the velocity and its reference value okay and so the position cannot be controlled by using these terms but in the full state feedback controller design we may utilize the many input signals with some specific coefficients in production and so we can guarantee that the system is stable okay especially in the higher than in the four states the full state feedback control can be used uh, but you should remember that in practical approach or the in real life application you should measure the all the values of this what this states okay and so PID in practical approach may be more commonly used a uh, form of control expression but the full state feedback controller design gives you the best performance on the what on your system design okay as well as the PID controller is uh, designed in the linear approach the full state feedback is also designed in the linear approach and so we need to a uh, state space matrices with the linear form okay otherwise we cannot uh, find the correct uh, values of this k1 and k2 okay <coughs> and so if our system has this notation in the maths we can design the whole system like this one this torque value or form gives us what in the former position z dot a times z plus b time torque but now the torque is minus k times z and so z dot value is equal to the what a times z plus b times minus k z okay <coughs> and so in the total form or in vectorial notation we can say that a times z b k z and so in final position z dot is equal to the what a times a minus b k times z and so this is the special form of the state space notation because this is called the autonomous form and so if the autonomous form and so there is no input value in here with the addition of this mathematical term and so we can stabilize the system is the guarantee performance okay and so we can easily set the k value at any point on the matrix notation because if we have this kind of system in here and then we can find the k value with the negative eigenvectors and eigenvalues which provide us to what to stability condition in the control theory okay and so what about this but this is related to what in the next lesson okay